morning everyone and welcome back to Lone Oaks. Now it's taken us a little while to get back on this series and I do apologize about that but we just got ourselves our cup of joe there. It's time to walk outside, enjoy the fresh air, and get to work. Now I did have a neighbor call me about uh, running a piece of his equipment for him so we might end up doing that for him at some point if I can swing by but that's not our priority today. Today, uh, first, let's feed our dog here. Good boy. Our priority for today is to go and take care and train the horses that we have bought. We need their value to increase so we can then sell them. And that value is not going to increase until we've trained them. Now, it's interesting that uh, my family actually breed and train thoroughbred racehorses in real life so i was talking to my parents about it and they gave me some uh they gave me some ideas some pointers let's hop in the cab here and uh th they were talking to me about what we can do here so what we're gonna do is train these horses uh and sell them off as yearlings that's gonna be our aim so they're not racehorses yet they're thoroughbreds, but we're going to train them, sell them off as yearlings, and then they will no longer be our responsibility. So I suppose there's a uh, yearly sale every year around here. There's, there's probably a local thoroughbred association or racehorse association here that I'll have to get in contact with to see when those are. But um, we could also sell privately as well. So we have plenty of different options options for us here now i think this is going to be a a profitable adventure for us but it's just figuring out uh how to pay for it in the meantime so we'll see what happens here i also want to thank you guys so much for the continuous support once again we at the time of recording this are 6400 almost and uh subscribers and the first General Lee video has over 100,000 views. That's crazy. Thank you guys so much. Now, that video did way better than my average video. But I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed that video. I'm really glad that you guys uh, wanted, want, wanted to see more. Uh, I also am really glad you guys are enjoying the, the Haunted Camping series. Uh, now, some people, you know, it's not for them, and I completely understand. I completely get it. There are things about it that I'm sure are not really what you're here to watch, and that's I, I get that. That's no problem. Everyone likes what they like. Um, but if you haven't checked out the Haunted Camping series, it's actually one of my personal favorites that we have, uh, we have going on right now. And we're not going to be filming any more of that until later on in October. So those are going to be gone for a little while until later in October is when those will return. But it's one of my personal favorites. Gilbert, the editor, killed it with the edit on those. And, uh, I mean, they, they look like a movie, don't they? They look like a movie. So I'm really happy with those videos. I hope you guys enjoy them as well. Also, while we, uh, we drive over to the horse pasture here what did you guys think of yesterday's video the uh in real life farming video the century farm video i hope you guys liked it that old oliver is really really cool um i never have seen it restored until now it was always a big old rust bucket in the shed that didn't run and it took us you know three years and a lot of pain but it's been restored, and I couldn't be happier with it. I wish the fenders were restored, but they were beyond repair. But that's all right. But we're here now. Let's go ahead and get the uh, engine shut off. Let's hop out. Now, I was hoping not having to do this, but I think we're going to have to find a way to... Oh, I should have lowered my rear three-point hitch there. Oh, well, that's fine. Just continuous pressure on it. It's not really the best thing to do. The horses are out here just grazing, just chilling. Now, we need to get them on a strict routine, but uh, knowing myself, that's not going to work out very well. they still got plenty of feed, though. They have water. I just I would love to fill this up more, so I might look into seeing what it would take for me to get a, uh, a water bowser here to be able to fill this up a little bit better. But for now, the pump is working, and it's keeping it at least... Uh, they at least have a bit of water, so 
Can't complain about that. But we have to do a little training today. We're going to probably do it on... I don't know who. We're going <laughs> to... We're probably going to just do it on you. Although I'll probably lose sight of you and I'll pick someone else here in a second. Um, I don't have a training facility. Which is the interesting thing. So I don't have... You know, I don't have money to spend on that right now. I don't have a facility to train these horses in. I don't have a, a training track. I don't have a round pin. I don't have anything. So... We're going to do it uh, the not-so-legit way. I mean, we're going to do it the, the broke guy way, and we're just going to kind of ride him around in a field, you know, ride him uh, maybe down the road a little bit. We're going to we're gonna do what we have to do, but we're going to take him out, get him fit, and uh, see how it goes. So let's, uh, let's train you. Let's get this horse all haltered up, get it saddled up, make sure the bridle's good and everything, and then uh, we'll, get, we'll get to riding. Luckily... All these horses are uh, already broke to lead and broke to ride, so I don't have to deal with that. So all we have to do is get to riding them as they stand in their food. Terrific. You know what? Now that you're eating, I'm not going to bother you. I'm going to bother someone else. I'm going to bother you. Let's ride you. All right, we got uh, the horse all saddled up. Well, this is Indigo, one of our horses. We're just going to start out by... Going for a nice little walk. Now the horses are, uh, are for the most part halter trained and, uh, and they are broke to ride. So it's not going to be too hard on us here. Now race horses can be a little bit of a, <laughs> of a stickler. That's for sure. So we're going to have to be careful here, but we're going to take this horse right up here, tie him off to that post and, oh, terrific. Okay, we gotta go find Indigo again. That was Simba. That's Falcon. Who are you? That's Buddy. I'll find I'll find you, Indigo. That's Simba again. Indigo, here we go. Alright, let's take Indigo out of the uh, pasture and and get Indigo trained here. So we're at a nice trot. Nothing too crazy. Alright, Indigo. Can you... What happens if I get off of you? Good, Indigo. Good. Stay right there. Do not go anywhere. Your, your, you know, your lead is on the ground, but you think you're tied to something. It's all psychology. Alright, let's go out for a little jog here. Now we're at a, uh, we're at a gallop. I'm just going to correct my terms that I said earlier, because I know my mom will be like, that is not correct. This is a walk. This is a uh, trot. This would be a canter, I believe. And then this would be a gallop. There we go. When I said gallop previously, I was like, wait, there's not one that comes after that. I messed up. <laughs> we got it right now. We're, 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 we're racing the car. So this is not really how you would train a horse, but I don't have a training facility. So we're kind of just going to go out for, you know, for a ride. Now, I got permission from this this farmer. The person that has that pasture there that I'm renting also owns this land. So we have permission to be running up and down this. Eventually, we'll, uh, we'll build a training facility and we'll move the horses over to our place. We just do not have the money right now. So we're kind of having to do it. A little not legit, a little strange. Let's see, can we get a... No, we can't. Okay. I was going to see if I could go first person, but apparently that is not a thing. That's actually disappointing. There you go. Keep on running. Now, uh, we're going to assume that this little stretch here is about a quarter a mile. All right. Nice and easy. Down you go. There you go. Got a nice trot going on, right? That's a trot? Yeah, yeah, that was a trot. Trying to familiarize myself with the terms again here. Work our way up. There you go. Run back down this way. So we're going to do a few laps back and forth just to get a little bit of training in. Now we don't want to overwork the horse just enough to uh, to keep it fit. And in, in real life, you know, you have to fo you have to work on which, you know, their lead like how they're, you know, which one's their lead leg and then switching leads and and all kinds of stuff. And it, it, this is farming sim. We just do not have the ability to go as in-depth on these uh, horses as 
you do in real life. But if you guys are curious what it's like training or breeding racehorses, thoroughbred horses, let me know. I'll definitely uh, create a series that focuses heavy on, heavily on that. Perhaps even include it into the Century Farm series a bit um, or make it kind of its own. I think I think that would be very interesting. The horses are, are very intriguing. You know, not a lot of people have... Uh, not a lot of people breed horses, or especially like race horses. So it's it's definitely an interesting thing to to have grown up with. And uh, I think I don't know. You guys, let me know if you're interested in knowing more about the horse business in real life. And if so, I will make that happen. I've got some plans already. They're not really being put in place right now, but it's something that I would love to do. So let me know if you want to know more about the race horse industry, about the horse industry in general. And I will make that a series for you. We'll take Indigo for one more down and back after this. And then we'll call it good. And then we'll uh, we'll hop over and maybe, maybe ride a few other of our horses. It's going to be a little bit of a repetitive job here. But we have some other stuff to take care of today as well. So we'll take care of that stuff too. All right. This is our final down and back. We're going to head down, back, and then we'll put Indigo away. Indigo's done enough uh, enough work for us today. It's been a nice, easy ride. No hiccups, no issues. Been very smooth. It's getting getting a little sluggish now, so definitely need to uh, definitely need to call it quits um, after after this down and back because uh, <laughs> it, it's it's not not the most fit horse yet. That's for sure. I also just want to say that I'm calling this horse an it and not uh, not its proper terms because I am unsure if Farm Sim even um, differentiates. I don't think they do. I think this horse is gender neutral. Um, interesting. Yeah. I don't know if this is meant to be a colt or a filly or what but i guess we'll just keep calling it it how's that sound all right indigo you have done great today good it good horse because <laughs> i i don't know what to call you you want you want some tacos indigo you want some tacos let's get you some tacos how's that sound no you know what let's not get you some tacos let's get you some let's get you some nice hay doesn't that just sound nice? Some hay? Yeah, I know it does. All right, stay right there. Stay right there. You're, you're tied to the tractor, I promise you. Don't run off on me now. Well, you are so calm. Look at you. All right. Back in with your friends you go. Good job. Good job, Indigo. Close up this gate. And then uh, we'll take a look at Indigo's stats here and see how it's looking. All right, so if we look at our animals here, we can see Indigo's down here on the bottom. Daily riding is 100. Um, I, I, I don't know entirely what some of this stuff means, but as we can see, the value has increased. This horse was worth around this $230 mark like these other ones, and it's up to 664 now after one ride. So that is terrific. We are going to now uh, ride a few more. Now, I may or may not pester you with, with watching this. Uh, if we had a training facility, I, I, I would. This would be a lot more interesting. But we don't, so it, it, it gets very repetitive very fast. But let's take Misty out for, uh, out for a ride here today, huh? Misty, come on now. Cooperate. There's no need to have some sass. Biting at the... Biting at the brittle, or... Oh, jeez. Misty. Bridle, by the way, not brittle. Brittle is, is something you have with peanut, but it's peanut brittle, not... <laughs> Anyways. Uh, okay, you know what? We'll take Buddy out, since Buddy's right here. Come on, Buddy. Let's go for a ride. And this time... We're going to go just kind of right around the map a little bit, buddy. What do you say? Let's close that up. Oh, I got to get back to my horse. 
Ooh, you don't want to stand behind a horse like that. It's a little... Oh. But he was pawn. Pawn at the ground. Wasn't happy. All right, let's go for a little jog here. We'll start out nice and easy, and we'll work our way up. How's that sound, buddy? Let's watch for traffic, and let's go this way. Down the road. Now, this is a little uncomfortable, probably, on you. Now, we do have we do have the shoes on it. We have aluminum shoes. They're racing, racing shoes. Uh, they're lighter, easier for them. So it, it really isn't that bad. We are going to have to find a farrier, though. We're going to have to find someone to come out and, uh, you know, and trim their hooves and stuff. So we'll have to be in the lookout for that. That's going to be another business expense. Once again, farming sim, you, you really can't do that, but just pretend that you can. Oh, we're racing. We're racing. <laughs> so I think we're just going to go for a jog down and back this whole stretch of highway and i think that should be enough that should be equivalent to what we were doing earlier probably maybe a little bit more but we'll we'll see here all right we're gonna turn around right here at the horse stable head all the way back and then uh buddy should be good on on his daily riding today as well was watching for traffic <laughs> i don't want to get hit in a car that would be a expensive and heartbreaking mistake all right we made it back with buddy we're back at the pasture once again we'll go turn buddy back out let him uh eat a little relax enjoy his life and uh we get back to training some of the other horses i suppose Hey, buddy. Don't do that. You're fine. You're fine. It's just the gate. There you go. I wish you could lead the horses instead of having to ride them. There, you know, I, I mean, I'm happy to have horses. Horses. This is the first time Farming Sim has had... Don't you do that. Don't you go out that gate. This is the first time uh, Farming Sim has had horses. So, obviously, it's only going to get better from here. But, um, some definite improvements are needed. That's for sure. So there we go. Buddy and Indigo are both trained. Buddy's not worth as much as Indigo here, though. How about that? But I think that's all the training we're going to do today. I, uh, I told, I told our neighbor that I'd be over there to help him out with his his planting so we better get at that they have food they have water they're gonna be just fine so we're gonna get in our truck and uh get down the road to help out our neighbor here all right let's fire up the truck and uh back out of here without hitting anything now we're not headed too far the uh the neighbor is uh, actually on this highway right here, just a little bit south of the shop. And he said that the tractor is all ready to go. Pulled out. Planter has been tested. Should be working just fine. And uh, all we have to do is take it over to the field that he needs to get planted and get to work. Now, uh, the interesting thing is... I, when I'm doing this the way it uh, plays out, I have to buy the seed myself and then I get uh, reimbursed by the farmer uh, after the, the contract has been complete. I don't actually have an, enough money to buy enough seed to fill this planter, so I'm hoping that uh, half full planter will finish off this field, although I really doubt it. We're going to be planting just over 22 acres today. And, uh, well, well, we'll see what happens here. But this is the guy's place right here to the left. So all we got to do is turn in here, head down his driveway, and uh, the tractor, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what we're driving for him today, but he said it should be pulled out of the barn and ready to go. I see a hint of orange. It, it couldn't be a Kubota, could it? What is it? What's down here? There's a hint of orange somewhere over here. Oh, wait, there's a hint of... Is that red? Is it... That's a red machine, isn't it? That is a red machine. 
We're driving a case today. Huh. Well, I guess, uh... I guess the land down under uh, froze over, didn't it? We're driving a case. A case 300 CVX Optum. Wow, case IH. This is a nice piece of equipment, actually. This is really nice. Oh, it's got the rear hydraulic uh, controls on it, too. Those are so nice to have. Pulling an Amazon uh, Condor 15001. Or is it Amazon, perhaps? I think it's Amazon. Either way. Let's hop up in here and turn it over. He said it should start up no problem. Oh, well, this is really clean in here. Oh, perfect. Purrs like a kitten. All right. Nice. Well, let's get this rig down the road. We got a, a little bit of a drive ahead of us. Not too bad, but a little bit. We got 59.6 uh, bushels of oats in the planter here. That's what we're planting for him is oats. 22 acres of oats. And I'm hoping but doubting that we have enough in this planner to fulfill this contract. But we will find out. And if we got to get more, then we're going to have to find a way to get more. But for now, let's get down to the field and get to planting. All right. We just showed up to the field here. This is a massive field. We actually rented a horse trailer from the guy that lives right up there. Just now uh, realized that this is the same place. Holy cow, this is a massive field. Um, let's take a look at it here, actually. Oh, wow. We're going to need so much more seed. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. We're going to spend as much as we're going to make on this field. Great. Uh, is it too late to say no? <laughs> well, we, we said we would help him, so I guess when in doubt, fold it out, am I right? Let's just, uh, let's just line up and get to it then. No use in prolonging the inevitable. It is time to plan, and we, I've never used this, uh, I've never used this planner before in my life. So this is going to be interesting. I wonder how well it works. I guess we are about to find out. We are lined up. We got a little bit of seed. Not near enough for what we need. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Make sure we're on out. Drop it down. And let's plant. Using a case and an Amazon planter. This is working pretty well. But holy cow, this is a big field. I honestly, at first, I was going to tell the guy, oh, I don't need to use your equipment, man. Let me, I'll just take my piece of equipment out there and I'll get it done for you. And he goes, well, I don't know about that, Jake. It's bigger than you think. And I said, ah, uh -uh, no, I've driven by there all the time. It ain't that big. No, no, this is a pretty big field. Uh, this is going to take us a while. All right, then. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Am I right? We're actually kind of spinning out going up this hill a little bit. This case, I didn't think this case would have any trouble pulling this uh, this planter, but it's it's struggling a little bit on the hill. Not going to lie. You know, this is a nice tractor, but it's missing one key feature. It's missing GPS. If this tractor had a GPS system in it, this field would be so much easier to do. Now, you know how I talked about not doing headlands first because then you run over all your crop? Well, in this one, we're going to do it the other method. We're going to do headlands first. How's that sound? I do. I guess there are people out there that plant headlands first. I've never seen it before in my life. I mean, in real life, we never ever plant headlands first. But to be fair, we kind of plant... Uh, we don't really plant diagonal like I was either so I can't say I was staying completely 100% true to how you plant even right now I'm breaking the rule a little bit you're not really supposed to plant downhill like that although that was a tiny little stretch so you could probably sacrifice it but you want to try to avoid that really you try to plant to the contour of the land and if a lot of what dictates what gets planted for us is if it's dry enough yet because a lot of times it's too wet to get in the field so you kind of just got to plant where you can and then get where you couldn't 
hopefully in a reasonable amount of time. I actually think we're just going to kind of do a back and forth action here because this follows the contour of the land really well, this path we took. So I think we're just going to kind of do that for a few rounds. We have already used, I think, 10 bushels of seed and we have done one, one straight away. Like, oh my, we are going to need so much more seed. This is going to work horribly. Oh, the tractor's spinning out. Come on, tractor. Come on, Case. Come on, Case. Come on, be a John Deere. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We actually almost bought a Case in real life. I'm, I'm just poking fun. That's all. We almost bought a Case in real life. We didn't end up getting one, but we were pretty darn close to buying one. Although it would have been the oddball, everything else on our farm is green. It would have been strange to have a red machine, but either way, this tractor's getting the job done. Now I could put it in four-wheel drive, which I probably should. So we'll probably just do that from here on out. In fact, let me go ahead and just turn it on. Give this case as much traction as possible. Give it the benefit of the doubt, you know what I mean? One thing I do not like about planners like this, they don't have marker arms. I would really fancy having some marker arms right now so I could just put my nose on that and not have to worry about being off and I'd be right in line. It's more efficient. It's easier. I don't know. It's fine. We'll make do without it for now, but marker arms would be so nice to have. And lift it up. Take your turn. Don't hit the trees. Don't hit the trees. Thank you. Almost hit the tree. Drop it down, and we'll continue planting back the other way. Now, I actually think right here I'm not going to turn south, or wouldn't that actually be north, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd actually be north, Jake. I'm not going to turn downhill there, um, just because I really want to minimize the amount of planting that I do uh, with the hill. I want to go across the hill as much as possible, so we're going to just do this way for now. It's all working out pretty well. We're following the contour of the land for the most part. We're not uh, we're not going with it. We're going kind of against the hill, which is great. And to be honest, right back there probably should be... There probably should be a grass strip somewhere in this field. I mean, personally, I would like to have one if I was this farmer. But I guess if they don't care about soil conservation, then they don't care about soil conservation. Although I'd just like to say, if you don't care about soil conservation, you're going to end up having yourself another dust bowl. So all the farmers out there, please care about soil conservation. It's important. It's very, very important. Well, this is awkward. We ran out of seed. And I don't, I don't have enough money in the bank to go and get more. Um, we actually have a lot of this field done, though. We have about half of this field done. Well, maybe almost half of this field done. But we need more seed, so let me see what I can figure out here. Okay, so I just racked my brain. I was like, well, what if I go buy some seed? What if I this? What if I that? We actually have seed sitting at our farmyard. So I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and lift this up, turn it off, fold it up. We're going to drive over to our place since we're actually really close to it. We're going to go get that seed, fill this up, and it's not even going to fill it probably less than a... F it's probably going to be like less than a fourth of the way. But I'm hoping we'll be able to finish this field with just that. I don't think we will. I think we're going to need a little bit more yet, unfortunately. But we're going to try. We're going to try and spend as little, mo as little money as possible here so we're gonna run over to my uh my farm and we're gonna get the seed that i have sitting on some pallets over there uh, it's actually the same brand seed so it'll all work out just fine and we'll see uh we'll see how far we get with that i'll tell you what i'm glad we don't have to deal with deaf on our farm deaf is uh <laughs> it's an added expense and it's annoying things just don't run right when they have deaf no, I'm not saying, you know, death is a bad thing. I, I get it. 
but they really need to improve the tech because man does it cause some issues and man are those issues expensive to fix make it work better and then I, I support it but I'm gonna be honest it doesn't work worth a darn right now at least in my experience and most people's experience likely all of our equipment's pretty old we don't have to deal with that but let's get that pallet drug out here I'm not gonna back in because then I'm gonna pull from the wrong seed so we're gonna get the pallet actually hold on open up the back hatch there and now we're gonna go get this pallet and carry them up the steps one by one and fill it in all right we just dropped the last bag in there let's go ahead and close this thing up and uh just as i feared that like practically didn't fill this at all and i know we're gonna need more than that that's gonna get us like a pass that's gonna get us like one single pass okay i guess i guess i i give i'm gonna have to hold on hold the front door what's in our old 4055 oh we got a little bit we got a little bit in here can we unload that is that possible unfortunately it's only 1.5 bushels in there it's not worth it honestly we can't get it unloaded anyway so We'll just back this thing in here and fill it up a bit more. About to get real expensive. Now, what do we do? Let's see. Can I get this? Just a little bit more. Let's pull it off up over here. Get her a little closer so we're not carrying it as far. Well, this is awkward. I was just walking through my seed bags back there and... I don't have any oat seeds, so we're going to have to buy some anyways. But, uh, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to call the other farmer and see if he can give me some money to get that seed, so he ain't answering his phone right now, so we'll have to try and get, uh, get a hold of him here later today. So that's going to do it uh, for this one so far today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the video. Thank you all so much for the support if you are not yet subscribed please click that subscribe button and check out more of the videos down below we got in real life farming we got another multiplayer farming series we got some other new stuff coming that i can't quite tell you yet but if you were on the live stream on last sunday you know what i'm talking about a lot of awesome stuff coming up here thank you so much for watching and until next time i'll see y'all later